Warning, in the following video, I become very direct and opinionated about my feelings towards My Little Pony. Please understand that I just say this because it is my own opinion. I harbor no ill will to any bronies out there who love the series. My opinion means nothing to anybody else but me. So please, do not kill me in the comments. <laughs> What is up everybody, this is Beetle5 coming at you with another one of my reaction videos. Today I will be reacting to Raven vs Twilight Sparkle Death Battle. Now, I'm not very excited for this fight. I'm just gonna be honest, I'm not a pony fan. I personally think the fandom is creepy and weird to me, but that's just my opinion. I'm not, that, I, I don't mean to shit and hate on all the bronies of the world. That's just personally what I think. Okay, I just, that's all. You know, opinions are like assholes. We all got one. I love Raven so much. Love Teen Titans. I fucking love that show. But I don't know what to expect. I I really don't know. I don't know anything about Twilight Sparkle. So I, I don't know how she relates to Raven. And other than the fact that Tara Straw voices both characters. But I guess that's what Death Battle is going to tell me. So let's see this fight then. Here we go. Ugh, okay. Emotions can be powerful. I love Charlie Brown. Uh, are we really gonna talk about feelings and crying and stuff? Well, yes, and how they fuel some pretty powerful magic. Sounds good. Like with Raven, the half-demon sorceress from the Teen Titan. And Twilight Sparkle, the magical prodigy from My Little Pony. Yep. Alright. Really doing this again. Yep. Okay. Injustice. It's our job to analyze their weapons. Armor and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Okay, here we go. A strong emotion yes. can drastically change a person. Fear Tomb Raider. Is the necessary for survival. Anger can increase Terra. Oh god, that's fucking Judas contract. I love those movies. Exactly a good sign when right as you're born, the sky turns black and the whole world suddenly smells like fart. Trigon is the daughter of a human mother and a fearsome demon who is literally made up of hatred. I'm not even kidding. Because of her heritage, Raven's own mental state holds the key. Watches Gossip Girl religiously. <laughs> she is an empath, a mage who can sense, create, and manipulate emotions. So her powers are all about feelings and stuff? That's pretty lame. Tell that to her when she scrambles your brain or forces you to feel so greedy you steal from your boss. Oh, you don't need to convince <laughs> me to do that. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's pretty intense. But hey, she's got a lot more Oh man, freaking the movie Tea Titans vs. Justice League was awesome. Raven met her father for the first time, and it uh, didn't go very well. Yeah, Demon Dad shot her mom with a grandma laser. That pissed off the grandma laser. This shadowy figure is her soul self, an extension of her spirit and manifestation of the powers inherited from Triga. Raven often wields it as her primary means of offense and defense, though it can function on its own. I wish I had a pet bird that could do what the soul self can. This beauty lets Raven fly, use its eyes and ears, or just punch people like a big old battering bird. <laughs> it can drain the energy and powers of others, and also serves as a sort of pocket dimension, which Raven can trap a limited number of foes and objects within. Talk about convenient, but she can do way more. She can levitate, teleport, heal others, cast energy shields, phase through walls, and blast people with mystical energy beams. Yes. <laughs> I love her. One drawback. To wield her power, Raven must embrace emotion. And too much emotion risks opening her mind to Trigon's corruption. When she gives but she gets all of us, yeah. Four eyes. Personality changes. What's the matter? Afraid of the dark? <laughs> I love that scene. <laughs> dark Raven. Dark Raven dark Raven love that. Stronger, tougher, and freakier than your everyday Raven. She can shoot lasers from her eyes, disintegrate stuff with her hand beams, and shapeshift. And her soul self is so powerful, it can wipe most people off the face of the earth. <laughs> However, Dark Raven's incredible capabilities are a double-edged sword. By tapping into her father's demonic powers, she risks transporting Trigon himself to the living realm. 
Yeah, that was three parts of the of Teen Titans. <laughs> Fuck that. Ah, uh, uh, why? I wish that happened. <laughs> That'd be wonderful. Ooh, never seen that in T Titans. Oh, that is messed up. Predicted to dodge a sniper bullet. Defeated Trigon, Brother Blood, and Headcase. That's fucking cool. That's enough energy to power all of New York City for over three years. Raven's soul cell can survive 30,000 feet below the surface of the ocean with no problem. That's almost 14,700 pounds per square inch. Wonder why then she would travel in the T Titan sub like they, when they first visit Aqualad if she could do that. Who can survive moon busting attacks? The villain Sparta's lasers could disintegrate people in an instant. Which requires nearly three billion joules of energy, and Raven's soul self powered through several of these blasts and held together. Self <laughs> is also stupidly fast. It once flew from New York City to Blue Valley, Nebraska, and back in less than five minutes. The distance between those cities is 1,166 miles as the crow, or Raven, flies. The crow. To make this trip in time, Raven's soul self must have flown more than 36 times the speed of sound. Wow. Well, when she was golden, ghosty Raven, she flew between the earth and moon like it was nothing. So, plenty of impressive feats, but unfortunately, Raven's powers have daunting and often costly limits. When the soul self takes damage, Raven feels the pain herself. She's kind of like a glass cannon and overtaxes her own abilities pretty frequently. But don't disregard that is one of the issues she's always had. She very often collapses. In combat, she tackles that emotion head on. The more negative the emotion, the more pain she feels. And don't forget, she's also struggling not to feel so Satan doesn't show up. With all that going on at once, it's no wonder she passes out sometimes. Yeah, a lot of times. And her adoptive Azerathian family, Raven eventually overcame Trigon's iron grip and defeated him. Yeah, you'd think a guy like Trigon would think twice before messing with someone as powerful as Raven. Uh -huh. oh, you stay away from me, you demon filth! They're not demons. Let me show you one. <laughs> Metreon Zinthos! <laughs> yes! Go, Raven! High above the peaceful Ponyville, the city of Canterlot rests among the mountaintops. There, a young filly had dreams of Okay. Her name was Twilight Sparkle. Uh, here we go again. I mean, we've seen a pony that breaks the sound barrier and one that breaks physics. So, what crazy powerful thing can this one do, Wiz? Hold your horses, Boomstick. We're merely out of the gates. Oh. oh. It in, Wiz. Your lame puns are musting with my script. Oh, God. Why? <laughs> to get Princess Celestia's school for gifted unicorns. After a very, uh, eventful Scared of quesadillas. <laughs> Alright. Which is kind of a big deal, since Celestia is pretty much pony god of the sun. Not only that, Twilight also earned her cutie mark. Oh, I remember those. It's that magical tramp stamp a pony gets when they grow up. Uh, close enough? Twilight's cutie mark symbolized her life's calling. Specifically, her destiny in mastering the art of magic. This peppy purple pony wasted no time and hit the books to practice hard. By the time she was an adult, she'd read her entire collection of 20,000 books. Ooh, okay. Drink. Have you ever read a book before? Do gun manuals count? Sure, why not? Gun manuals. Twilight learned all sorts of powerful and useful magic. 
She knows so many spells, it would take well over an hour to describe them all. Her uh, so crystal clear, she can recall a complex spell the fuck? But here's some highlights. She can move stuff with her mind. Telekinesis, teleportation, transmutation, magic shields, voice amplification, accelero, and what it needed. Gravity, ignite things on fire, freeze others in place, walk on clouds, and even master the transfiguration spell. As a filly, she turned her own parents into plants. The fuck? She's even transformed a single apple into a nest of bird eggs, which uh, hatched somehow. She has great life. Yeah. But okay. Twilight's magic doesn't just stem from her vast knowledge of spells and history. In the world of My Little Pony, magic is drawn from and controlled by a unicorn's emotions. Uh huh. The touchy feely stuff. The stronger a unicorn feels about something or someone, the stronger their magic becomes. Well, I've always found magic is tied to my emotions. Whatever I'm feeling fuels whatever I'm doing. And the stronger I'm feeling, the stronger the magic. Across Equestria, Twilight Sparkle is one of the few who master the most powerful magic. All right, I'm starting to get the connection to Raven. Okay, Wiz, I know a metaphor when I see it. Isn't it she, night out? She, she doesn't seem to have much negative, unless I, unless I just haven't said it yet. Like negative emotion power. Of course, because it's the sappiest bullshit in the universe. Okay. Twilight's friendship magic is at its most powerful when focused through the elements of harmony. When used together, these ancient artifacts are a near unstoppable force, even capable of overpowering the villain Tyrek after he stole Twilight's powers along with the rest of Equestrians. Twilight's crown with her personal element contains a powerful magic in its own right, enough to literally change the fabric of reality in another dimension with its mere presence. And of course, we gotta talk about those wings of hers. She was born a unicorn, but after completing an ancient spell about... What else? Friendship, she transformed into an alicorn. A mix between a unicorn and a pegasus, and a chance to sell just a whole ton more merchandise. It's a good thing. Makes sense. Alicorn magic is leagues more powerful than a plain unicorn's, and Twilight needed the extra boost to defend Equestria as its newest princess. Look what she bought that Tyrant guy. After Tyrant okay. absorbed magic from Equestria's entire population, Twilight was forced to confront him herself while wielding the power of four alicorns. Christ Almighty! Where did it become Dragon Ball Z with famous <laughs> girl horse toys? Anyway, check out how Tira rocketed Twilight straight into this mountain, and she was totally fine thanks to her magic shield. By comparing Twilight's apparent size just before impact to her actual size of approximately four feet tall, we can estimate the distance she was grown to be about 145 feet. Tyrek then closed this distance at 64.5 miles per hour. Combined with his estimated weight of over 31,000 pounds, Twilight's shield had to stand up <laughs> over 8 million Ooh. Force. You know what? Forget it. I'm on board with this pony stuff. Oh my god. Twilight is tough enough to survive bombardment by anvils and anvils. Tenel lifted a 340 ton bear. Blew 300,000 miles. Okay, well, she's not faster than Raven, at least. Match the power equal to all of the course of citizens. However, if Twilight oh my has one God. glaring weakness, it's her unwavering neurosis. What the f does that mean? I mean uh, she's obsessed over staying organized, and if one small thing goes wrong, she totally loses it. Yes, she has okay. a, well, difficult time dealing with unexpected stress. More often than not, she even makes bad situations worse before starting to fix them. But hey, when push comes to shove, Twilight Sparkle pulls her weight and more. You have no magic! You're wrong, T-Rex. I may have given you my alicorn magic, but I carry within me the most powerful magic of all. The magic of friendship. <sighs> all right, the competitors are set. Yeah. But first, prepare your loins for me. Oh, I'm preparing for the worst, because I... Obviously, I very much think Raven will win this fight. I mean, her negative emotions seem to fuel more power than anything that 
Twilight can do. I mean, you know, Twilight can shoot big ass lasers and shit, but I mean, I feel like the negative emotions that Raven has and Trigon and Dark Raven, all that shit, is more powerful. But I'm, I'm very prepared that this this battle's just gonna bend me over and fucking fuck me by having Twilight win this fight. I I I, I I'm, I'm prepared. I am. They better have a damn good reason if that really does happen. But anyway, Raven, I hope we'll win this fight. I really want Raven to win this fight. I don't want the pony to win this fight. So, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> I see naked people on screen. Okay, that's a big piece of junk right there. Me undies, huh? Okay, here we go. Transdimensional teleportation? Let's give it a try. Fuck you. You saw nothing. I really wish. Fuck you for making a go reference. Alright. Raise some hell, Raven. Nice. Oh. There we go. Raven has some physical combat, at least. Azrath Metrion Zimtos! <laughs> Never gets old. Alright. Dodging all this shit here. Uh, yeah, that thing. Forgot. Oh, God. Oh, boy. White Raven already? Okay. Whoa. Whoa. What? Fucking seizure warning here. What was... What the hell was that? What? What the fuck is this? What? What the hell is that even? Uh, well, whatever the fuck that was, now she's Dark Raven, so I guess it works. Wow, that's a very fun, fun drawn Raven. <laughs> All right. What? the fuck is happening? What? I... I don't... I... I'm so confused. Yeah, Raven! I don't know how the fuck you did it, but you did it. Today I learned that the only thing more powerful than friendship is a giant bird spirit collecting. <laughs> Sweet. This was a tricky one. Both Raven and Twilight possess numerous spells and techniques that could end the other quickly and easily. Since they were pretty even in how many ways they could finish each other up, this fight really came down to strength. I'm very curious on how the fuck that went down. So please tell. <laughs> when she had the magic of Princess Celestia and Luna, and it's well established okay. that could have fooled me. <laughs> magic can move both celestial bodies. Alright. So, you're saying you want us to move the sun and the moon. Well, I do it myself, except I don't have your magic. With her own magic, Twilight has never shown anything close to the kind of force Raven used to lift the Teen Titans Tower. Raven had the durability advantage, too. Remember how Twilight's shield held up against a hit a little over 8 million Newtons? Well... Raven's soul self is tougher than Donna Troy, who can shrug off a blast hmm. worth 296 kills. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> That's a 16 more zeros. 16 more zeros. had the power of four alicorns at that time. The shield wouldn't have saved her from Raven's soul self anyway. Not only could it absorb Twilight's powers and emotions, and not only was it capable of operating oh while Raven was unconscious, God. but it also made a mean dive bomber. Raven's soul self could fly at speeds exceeding Mach 36. 
Since it's often been used as a battering ram to hit enemies, we know it has mass, but not exactly how much. However, given its size, strength, and durability far exceeds Raven's own, its mass is likely greater than hers. Let's just look Probably. And say the recoil, right? <laughs> sure. Adding Raven's mass to the Mach 36 calculation, the Soul Self's ramming force at top speed comes to 15 million. Son of a bitch! Far greater than what Twilight Shield has sustained. Ain't no pony walking away from that. So, she, so she turned her into a plant? Is that what happened? Okay. Looks like it. While they may have matched each other in spells and skill, Raven's more powerful traits and exceptional soul self earned her a hard-fought victory. Yep, Raven really ponied up for this one. The winner. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Oh, I was really scared there, but it's all right. <sighs> Love Raven. Alright, let's let's uh let's look to one that's a little more happier, please. Uh sh sh Jojo from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Versus I'm Jo Jotar Oh no, okay, I don't know who either of these guys are. Alright. Well that's a first. Sorry to say, yeah, I don't I don't know them. Okay, well I mean, you know, I had my doubts of that fight. I I was worried there. And, you know, I don't mean to express my hatred for ponies, just, I don't like them! So, yay for Raven! Really wanted her to win. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment if we'll start to react to in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Laters!